Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about how to automate the installation of Windows, Windows 8 or Windows 10, um, using the SDI Choco feature in Easy to Boot. Now you need Easy to Boot 1.82 or later to do this with, uh, and you may notice if you go to ISO, Windows, and then Windows 8 or Windows 10, you may notice there's some SDI Choco XML files here and there's a few here um, so these XML files are new ones which take advantage of this new SDI Choco feature so the first thing you need to do is to install the uh, snappy driver update so SDI snappy driver installation or installer so you go to the Windows install so this folder is new this installs folder is new in 1.82 um, and you'll see that there's various folders in there and the one we're interested in is snappy so you go to snappy and you'll see that there's a couple of executables here uh, this is currently snappy SDI uh, 474 so you can run sti run.bat or you can run whichever one of these is suitable for your system. So uh, I'll run the sti.bat and after the UAC. But, um, you'll get a firewall uh, prompt, so just say allow access for that. And now you should get, if you've got um, your firewalls uh, allowed it, um, you'll get this click here to start download uh, prompt so what you need to do is to download the driver packs now there's quite a lot of them and uh, it's about I think it's about 13 gigabytes at the last count um, now if you're doing this on the system that you want to eventually install to or a, a system that's the same or similar to the one you want to install to you can check on tick on check only needed for this PC um, but if you've already got drivers installed that's not going to work very well so the best thing to do is just to pick the drivers that you need basically just tick the ones that you want to download and once you've done that um, tick on uh, accept and OK so this should now start to download and you'll see in the background there's this um, console window which will now start scrolling to show you that it's downloading. Now you'll have to wait for this to finish and you'll get, you've got a count up here. Uh, it'll start to go green as it downloads all the required driver packs. This will take a while depending on the speed of your system. You see in the drivers folder here you see it's downloaded the ones that we asked it to, to. okay another thing I should mention is if you go to the installs WSS offline folder you'll see there's just a readme file here so you see in the readme file uh, it'll tell you that you can down you can get the WSS offline uh, update from this uh, eight, this URL. I won't go into details here but basically what you do is you download this onto your Windows system. Uh, you run the utility to uh, get the updates and then once you've got it in the folder you copy the whole WSS offline folder to your easy to boot drive into this into this folder here. So one last thing to do is to go into the configs folder and this is where all the configurations will be held or can be held for your system. So if you've got uh, 10 different systems that you want to install to, um, you can set up uh, different configurations for each of those systems to install different drivers. You can, you can install your own applications um, and you can install Windows updates. But the default one is called SDI Choco. So this is the only configuration that uh, is there by default. And uh, it's going to run this sdichoco.cmd file. That kicks the whole thing off, which is specified in the XML file that you're going to run. Uh, but what we need to do is configure 
the SDI Choco uh, folder. In here we can, this is how we can configure the installation. Uh, there are various files here, but the, the, the ones that we want to change my startup.cmd, my specialized.cmd, and my setup complete.cmd. So it's going to automatically install the, uh, the Snappy drivers. Uh, if you've got the WSS offline folder there, it's going to automatically install Windows updates. Uh, so what we need to set up now is um, for it to install applications. So what we can do is just create a new file. And all you have to do, do in here, the minimum that you need to do is to run some uh, choco, chocolatey commands. So for instance, if I do choco install team viewer, oops, can't spell. So that's going to install team viewer and you can add other packages as well, whatever, whatever chocolatey supports. Uh, you can install so you can you can put notepad plus uh, plus there are lots of things you can add into into this uh, file so this just uh, allows you to install applications and these applications are downloaded from the internet at the time that they run so you don't need to pre-download them so I'll just show you save that um, I'll just show you if you see the sample my startup.cmd so we'll edit that one We'll have a look inside. There's a bit of information here uh, as comments about uh, what's going to happen. Basically, this is a, an example file, which is a little bit more complicated. Um, so you can see it tests for a, a nochoco.tag file. So if you've got this tag file um, in, in this folder here, if you put a tag file in there, um, you could control the way things work. So in this case, uh, it's just going to uh, speak to you. So it's going to, if you've got to audio drivers, if they're actually working, uh, so for instance, if it's a notebook, uh, it'll actually say, warning the file no choco.tag was found, uh, choco installs will not work. Uh, and then a bit further down, it'll echo, so that'll just print the text installing Classic Shell. It'll then speak to you and it'll say, downloading and installing Classic Shell have it speaking because you might not be able to see what's going on um, it might be covered over by the um, Microsoft uh, Ubi um, application so you won't be able to see what's happening behind the scenes so it's useful to have it speak to you but to, just to let you know what's going on so I'll edit this file again so uh, because I don't want to be prompted I'll say minus Y and uh, minus R just means uh, reduce the messages don't have the minus Y it will prompt you and you'll have to type Y in so it won't be automatic so I just save that so we also need to make sure that we got the ISO so I've downloaded here the Windows 10 uh, anniversary edition ISO. That's the English version, i.e. American version. Um, the Inter English international version is actually the English version, uh, but the Americans have called their uh, their version English. So the XML file we need to use will be a US one with Choco. So for instance, Windows 10 Pro US with Choco will install uh, Windows 10. Um, and we can just check that the relevant section of the XML is in here. So if, if I use edit. Uh, and you also need to bear in mind that um, if you're running a, a, from an ISO file on a removable USB drive, an ETB removable drive, then uh, it's fine. Uh, if your ETB drive is in fact a hard disk or a fixed disk type of a drive, then you'll also need a WinHelper USB drive. 
So the only thing left to do now is to um, boot this on a real system uh, and try it. It doesn't work on a, in, on a virtual machine uh, because, um, because of the removable drive problem. Um, you, you, you can't have a removable drive and a virtual machine. So I'll have to demonstrate this uh, recording a video. Uh, I'm going to use a notebook so uh, we'll see the whole process and hopefully it will be fully automated. Offline update installer script was not found. 